Action at the Evansville Wartime Museum this afternoon. They now have a new executive director who brings a wealth of experience to the position. They introduced him at an event featuring a 98 year old World War II veteran. Robinson Miles went to see it in person. It was a big day for the Evansville Wartime Museum. It was their bi monthly lunch and learn, complete with music. <laughs> And a presentation from Donald Cobb, a 98-year-old World War II veteran whose ship was at Omaha Beach during the D-Day invasion. He talked about both the good and bad from his experience. I'm glad that I went through it, but I wouldn't want to do it again. And that is going to be my task, and I can't wait to get at it. At the event, the museum presented their new executive director, Sean Georges, a tri-state native. Georges says he views the opportunity as a way to serve the community and to make sure the area doesn't forget its role in the country's past. I think this story, Evansville's story, is really, is really America's story. Brand new executive director. Georges brings both military and professional experience to the museum. He not only spent 13 years in the Marines, but also worked as the general counsel and head of HR for Shoe Carnival. Other museum officials say they're eager to have his unique mix of skills and experience. We couldn't be happier to have someone that has a lot of military friends, appreciation of military, once a Marine, always a Marine. The crowd then heard from the Red Bank Reunion Band, a group who plays Civil War era music. They also play on instruments from that time and present on Civil War history. I knew I was going to be in the service sooner or later. They then heard from Cobb, who was born in Evansville and settled in town after his service in the Navy. Georges says it's important for people to remember the area's past, and it can play an important role in determining the future. I think to know where you've been can help you to develop a depth of understanding about who you are as a community and what you can accomplish in the future. This commitment to teaching about the past means a lot to the day's featured speaker. Well, I don't want people to forget about World War II. And things have happened. I want, I want the history to be accurate.